Good morning and welcome to the Andy Boomer Show. I'm Mary Pat McKee and this morning I am sitting here with Holly Hoy. Did I say it right, Holly? You did. Okay, Good morning. great. Good morning. We're going to be talking about the new facility over at 116th and Cumberland called the Reserve. But before we get into that, we want to do a couple things real quick. As you can see on the screen, there is our November issue of Indie Boomer Magazine. That is Mr. Forrest Lucas of Lucas Oil Stadium, the oil, what shall we call him? King. <laughs> he does a lot of great things with oil. And um, as he says, he's saved people billions of dollars over the years just because of his products. Anyway, pick up the November issue of Indie Boomer at any Kroger or Mar Marsh store in Marin County and the surrounding counties and uh, enjoy. It's a good read. Also, um, the Reserve is one of our advertisers. Actually, the company, Cardon and Associates Family of Care, is our um, one of our advertisers with the magazine, and we're very happy to have them with us, and they've been with us for many years. So let's talk about the Reserve. I'm yes. telling you, that property over there is so cool. It has got independent living, and what I really, really like are the cottages. Or do you call them cottages? Cottages. Do you yes. call them? Okay. Yes. Uh, tell tell us about it. Well, the the reserve at Hamilton Trace. It's it, like Mary Pat. It's it's a beautiful campus. Mm -hmm. um, it has. We have eighty seven apartments and uh, the ability to build fifty eight cottages on the campus. How many do you have now? Uh, Ten. Right now we have twelve apartments. Twelve. Okay. Film. okay. Absolutely. No, no, no. How many? How many cottages? Oh, cottages. Right now there are six built. Okay, six. Currently. Okay. Yes. And they're really, they're really cute. Yes. Yes. They're adorable. <laughs> and they look really spacious. But they go are. on. I interrupted you. No, no. Um, it, it's a um, an amazing campus for um, a communal opportunity for folks that are independent. Mm -hmm. um, folks that uh, may may travel quite a bit and still, you know, visit family and or have family in other areas of. Right of the um, uh, United States or, or elsewhere. Um, we have folks that live live there currently that play golf daily in the summer mm -hmm. um, that are still very active in the community and, sure. but may not want to cook daily, so they take full advantage of the chef that we have. And I heard you had a really good do, chef over there. We do. We um, do. My, my staff and myself also take full advantage yeah, of the chef. Yeah, <laughs> sure you do. I would. She hasn't invited me for lunch yet, but we'll work on that. So, <laughs> um, But it, it, it's it's a, a fun place to be. I, I, the folks that are living there are really having a, a great time. Um, and, and even the folks that are living in the cottages, they come over quite a bit do to they? Um, participate in our outings that we do with the Colts games, Pacer games. Oh, okay. Um, so you take a bus down absolutely. with a bunch of people? Boy, that's the way to go. Absolutely. So okay. always something going on at the reserve. Okay. Tell, tell me a little bit. Let's talk about the independent living. It's three stories? It is. Okay. What do you have? I mean, you got studios, you got one bedroom, two bedroom. Tell me we about do. that. We do. We have a, a, a wide variety of, of options. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, studio apartments. We have one bedroom with one den. Okay. Um, we have two bedrooms with a den as well. And wow, so, that's really big. Absolutely. So the square footage um, can range from 630 square feet all the way up to 1,800 square feet in the apartments. Oh my goodness, 1,800 square feet? Yes, so quite large. That's almost as big as my house. It could be, yes. Well, I'm sure <laughs> and plus you probably don't have as I don't have as much maintenance as I do on my house but so the two bedroom is that two bath as well yes okay yes um, do you have several of those or is you have a we few do. of those a few we of have, each um, there, there's uh, roughly seven to ten different um, styles within each oh. apartment selection okay. so um, some some uh, are, are going faster than others I think we're seeing the one-bedroom apartments yeah. um, filling up quite quickly um, but the two bedrooms are very, very popular as well. Folks like their space and also that den option. Well, and do all the one bedrooms have a den? Not all of them. Not all of them. Okay. Not all well, of them. I think, you know, I know with my folks when we had to take them from their rather large condo down to a two bedroom, two bath. Yes. I mean, it's tough. It is. So, but it was nice being able to get that two bedroom to go from that, you know, bigger home that you're, that you're used to and and having that much space absolutely so and we're finding that i think the the transition with a lot of our families they're they're downsizing mm -hmm. so um you know the folks that we currently have there and it, within the reserve have come from anywhere from a, a thousand to up to four forty five hundred square foot home wow so they're, they're downsizing quite a bit yeah so, 
Um, and, and a lot of uh, folks are interested in that cot cottage level uh, living, knowing that it's maintenance free and right. um, you know the square footage of their cottages can go all the way up to 3,400. Okay, well that was that was going to be my <laughs> next question. So yeah. the cottages, um, you've got. Two bedroom, three bedroom. Tell me about that. We have up to three bedroom, uh, full finished basements as well. Walkout basement. Full options. Full finished basements. Mm -hmm. Walkout basement wow. options. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know. Um, this. Which, which to us, th those have been most popular. Um, yeah. The folks that are really downsizing from their larger homes, mm -hmm. um, coming into that maintenance free living, um, having that option to have that full basement to have guests come to stay, grandchildren right. come to stay. Right. Um, but also, again, the, the maintenance free part of that is what's really truly mm -hmm. appealing to our seniors that are in inquiring well and my guess would be that you have 36 inch wide doors and you have walk-in showers and we you do. have all of that type of um the amenities absolutely right some we even have 42 inch doors for the, the larger uh, wheelchairs really so wider wheelchairs as no, well. i have not ever heard of that and that is um, wide. the ada um so the american disability act we also yeah. can provide um, services and, and upgrades to appeal to those that may have an amputee family member or um, someone that may need additional uh, appliances or amenities okay that fit for the ADA mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. do um, one of the things I was thinking you guys have a beautiful campus there mm -hmm. I mean because all along one side is all trees yes and you've got that little pond is yes. that what you want to call it yes, i mean yes, it's not yes. a lake but um it's it looks like in our people well now it's winter but i would assume that people will use that walking trail oh my gosh there yes and i what's so appealing uh during dinner in the dining room mm -hmm. there are deer often in the back because it's uh, oh, the sure. woods are back there so right. um at one point during lunch there were nine deer standing and, and looking through the window and so most of the residents got up and it was just it was that feeling of comfort it was just oh yeah the feeling that home-like feel that right you don't necessarily have in an urban setting so. yeah you're not looking at somebody's backyard or somebody's right. house or something like that so let's talk a little bit well you know what let's um I want to save this for the second segment. I want to talk about activities. Yes. But I know you have a bunch of them, so let's let's back up that. Let me ask you this. This this should be an easy question. Do you have um, any kind of levels of care there? We do. That's a great question. Um, we actually, although it's independent living, mm -hmm. we uh, we can and do provide assisted living amenities. And, and, and let me talk to that a little bit. We promote independent living, but okay. we want to have folks age in place and, right. and be as independent as possible within that um, same environment. Right. Um, we have a home care company that we've um, we work with, Select Home Health. Okay. Um, now we. We do encourage families, they can use any home health that they like, but we do have Select Home Health um, that's a part of our campus. Mm -hmm. and they're, they're based out of our Connor Hall, which is at our lower level. Mm -hmm. um, and they provide uh, any services that you would need that's very similar to assisted living. Okay. So um, if you would need assistance with bathing, showers, medication, mm -hmm. management, right. um, even personal service assistance. So if you have uh, pets, we, we allow pets in into our community, so cats and dogs. Um, that was going to be one of my questions. Yes, good. Yes. Good, so, good to hear that. Um, they currently walk our residents' pets now that it's cold and, and the frost has hit the ground. Yeah. And so they, they hire the personal care assistants to come in and walk the dogs up to two, three times a day. Okay, we got to take a break, but we got to come back to this one for sure. Yes. I, I just two questions popped in my mind. Hey, quick break. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Thanks. Everyone knows it's easy to find first-run movies in the big theaters. But where can you go to watch your favorite classic movies on the big screen for the perfect night out? Why rent a flick when you can rent the entire theater? Call today to reserve our 32-seat theater for your next event or just stop by to see what's showing this weekend. The 14 by 7 foot screen and the high quality digital surround sound system offers all the amenities you would expect from the big theaters with a laid back atmosphere and comfortable seating of your own home. 
Wofford Theater at 1744 South 10th Street in Noblesville gives you the classic movies you want with a big theater experience. Margaret and I decided to sell the old estate here. We had uh, only one choice in signage. Logan Street signs and banners. Conveniently not located on Logan Street anymore, but rather located on 10th Street on the south side of Noblesville. Well, we sold the old beauty and we were able to buy this wonderful estate. And we had so much money left over, I was able to buy this beautiful 1968 Eldorado Cadillac for Margaret. Only 472,000 miles. Margaret loves it because it's got those big seats and that heavy-duty suspension to support her schvelt frame. Next time you're looking for signs or banners, call old Jim at Logan Street Signs and Banners, 773-7200. Conveniently not located on Logan Street anymore. Magazine. I'm Mary Pat McKee. I'm sitting here this morning with Holly Hoy, and she is with the Reserve, the Cardone facility at 116th and Cumberland. Uh, great new facility, and we will get back into talking about that in just a second. I want to remind everybody that we are on the radio Monday through Friday at 5:30 on Hamilton County Radio. Uh, the other thing I forgot to do, which is really bad of me, I did not thank uh, Logan Street Signs and Ban Banners <laughs> and Jim Walford, the Walford Theater, everything for allowing us to have this show. We're very appreciative of that. One more time, I'm going to show you this is the November issue of Indie Boomer Magazine. That is Forrest Lucas on the cover. He is the one that built Lucas Oil Stadium. And uh, it's a great read, so be sure and pick that up. That'll be available until January. And then in January, I'm very excited. We have Bob and Tom will be on the cover oh, of fun. the magazine. Yeah, they, are, they were a lot of fun uh, to talk with. So um, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Nothing. Okay. You're good for now. I'm good for now. Okay, good. Um, anyway, back to Holly. Okay, we were just talking about uh, pets. Yes. That people can bring pets. My question that, that popped in my mind right when we had to stop was, who's walking the dogs? So, um, another great question. So, a lot of our folks are independent, so they are right. able to walk them. But mm -hmm. uh, because it's winter and right. it's cold and, and ice and so forth, we have now personal care assistance or personal service assistance through Select Home Health. Okay, so they so actually have that? They do. So, it's an additional service fee that uh -huh. the oh, residents sure. could, could pay um, yeah. them to come in. And they can walk the dogs, pick up their... You know, dis disposing of their, um, you know, whatever you want yes. to call it. <laughs> the doggy do. The doggy do. <laughs> the, the cat do. Um, they don't walk the cats, do they? <laughs> well, see. Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen a lot of a lot of things go on. Um, <laughs> but no, the, so they're 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 there to provide um, extra assistance, yeah. any any sort of assistance. I've seen um, extra laundry services that they yeah. can provide. Um, anything you, know, you can think anything of. Anything in the world that you can think of. Wow. Um, you know, and, and that's something else that that we do as a, a, a service, um, and it, it is an additional upgrade. But we can take you to and from places twenty miles outside of you know the twenty mile radius for oh. additional charge, okay, um, if you like. And I we've we've been asked that families um, have other family members that live maybe outside of that twenty mile radius, okay, um, and we can do that for for a charge. Mm -hmm. um, take. You know, dry cleaning to and from if they don't like the dry cleaning services that we provide. So, mm -hmm. um, pretty much, it, it's truly. <coughs> Excuse we, me. We don't want to um, feel like a hotel <coughs> or seem like a hotel, but we provide just about any service that a hotel. Well, it looks like a hotel. Yeah, looks it looks like does. a nice hotel, like it a five does. star hotel. So the, the idea is that the hospitality. <coughs> piece of that is there so it's truly anything under the sun that we can provide um, with our current management team and and, and staff mm -hmm. we, we, would, we would provide well so. that's that sounds great yes tell us we, we touched a little bit in the first segment about um, about activities yes and you said you were going to the Pacers games yes. you were going to the Colts games yes tell us more about activities that, that sounds really cool Right now, um, you know, we, we really are catering towards the residents that are there, but we, we know that at one point and hopefully some point in the near future will be will be a full campus. So right, sure. Potentially we'll have up to 200 residents, but right now 
um, our current residents are enjoying going to the Palladium in Carmel. Mm-hmm. They like to see shows. Sure. Um, they go to the um, IRT downtown to see mm-hmm. shows. We have the Christmas Carol and some other. And I know the IRT. They do special shows for seniors. They do. They yeah. do. They do. And, and special times for mm-hmm. them and discounted right. rates and mm-hmm. so forth. Um, so they're often being bused to different um but and I say activities, but it, it, the outings that they're interested in, right? And, and so you're able to cater to that. That's right. Right. Um, and right now we're very connected to Hamilton Southeastern Schools. Mm-hmm. Um, Dr. Borf, um, the superintendent, is very active at the reserve at Hamilton Trace. Is he really? Um, in fact, we him. have 110 students. Um, they have a, a pre-concert next Thursday at the reserve. Mm-hmm. 110 students. They're they're doing three amazing orchestra concerts. I have seen them perform. Not maybe those particular students, but they used to always come to the form uh, for the chamber lodge. Oh, did they? Yes. Oh, and oh my goodness, those kids just really are. They're We're great. so excited. Yeah, you should so be. So excited. Be good. Um, the uh, orchestra director came in yesterday to, to tour, and so we're, we're getting it all set up and ready for the holidays for that concert. Oh, wow. Um, but so do you have a great big room, or is that the lunch room, or the we, dining room, or? The lunch room. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we're talking about busing and lunch room. Sounds like school to me. But. It does. <laughs> it, 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 it's a, a larger, large dining room. It's our ambassador room. Okay. And that's the one uh, that looks out to... Um, the woods and it's it's a very scenic room. It's beautiful. Yeah, I bet. Um, we can fit roughly 150 people in that room. Wow! But we also have a community room. It's mm-hmm. called Connor Hall. Uh, and well, that that's is, appropriate. It is. Yeah. It is. And you know they do that at Hamilton Trace too. All the rooms are are named from different places in, yes. in either Fishers or Hamilton County. Yes. Um, that's cool. And in that room is is open. Any of our rooms are open to the public as well. If you'd like to rent a large space. Oh, good to know. So um, that that Connor Hall um, also holds a little over a hundred folks, and mm-hmm. we charge two hundred and fifty dollars to rent that space really? um, to anyone in the community. So wow, um, we just had um, a family come in on Thanksgiving Day, and they had um, over sixty folks down there, and they had you know children ages two weeks new all the way up. You know all their children. Were playing and it, it was just a phenomenal communal space yeah. you know, for folks to run. That's unusual. I I mean I've never heard of another retirement facility uh, doing something like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's very unique. Yes. Full kitchen, um, kitchenette, um, you know, so they were bringing their turkey in and heating up their their dishes and mm-hmm. it was just a great place for them. Um, to bring in all of their food and and then if you didn't want to bring your own food we can cater it for you as well so we have catering service um, through our chef that gee really would be more than happy to provide catering service okay time is running quickly I I, eight minutes goes very quickly doesn't it when you're having fun (laughs) Um, one thing we wanted to talk about real quick was the continuum of care at Hamilton Trace the reserve being a part a a sub part of all of that um, tell us real quick a little bit about the whole campus Absolutely. involved. Um, the, the beauty with um, the reserve and Hamilton Trace being on one campus is mm-hmm. just that, Mary Pat, is that you know once folks do have a potential of declining or if they do do decline, yes, um, they have um, the first right into our assisted living campus and okay. then also yeah. our, our skilled side. Okay. Um, we have a waiting list on our um, assisted living um, side currently. And so if you're living at the reserve at Hamilton Trace, you get bumped up to the very first of the list okay. um, to be able to be placed into the assisted living. Okay. Uh, there's also incentives, financial incentives as well, if you choose to stay within our continuum. Um, we we want to ensure that we take care of our families first that are right. um, staying within our campus. Also, the, the other beauty is that there's a, a beautiful gym um, housed by our internal Cardon company, Lifespan. Mm-hmm. And, sure. um, the, the gym is, is I, truly, I say beautiful. It's weird to call a gym beautiful. But, um, it's, it's beautiful going it in, not is. coming out. But. It, well, it, it is. Um, but the, their, their you know, return to home rate and, and rehabilitation rate is, is superb. Yeah. So having those amenities literally right across the street, should you fall or... Yeah, um, you've got the rehab unit. We have the rehab unit. And we mm-hmm. can bus our folks um, from the reserve just across the street. I was going to say, they don't have to go very far. <laughs> right. But if you right. can't walk, it's exactly. a long way. <laughs> exactly. 
Yeah, but should, should you choose, um, you know, to have your therapy in place, you know, they, al- they also can come to the reserve and provide those services as well. So it truly is a communal feel and, and having all of the, the service lines all in one spot. Can I say to the listening audience, go to, Ham- go to the reserve at Hamilton Trace. Will you buy them lunch? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, she'll buy you lunch. So go check it out. I mean, it's definitely worth it. We're worth it. A lot of times, boomers are the ones making decisions for their parents. If you're a boomer, go check it out. Check it out for your parents. You know, in 20 years, you may be checking it out. So um, definitely, definitely worth the the visit. One thing I want to remind everybody before we leave is we have Boomer TV on Channel 8 with Patty Spitler on Sunday mornings at 10:30. So check us out, and uh, we will see you all. Actually, we won't see you next week, but we'll see you in a couple of weeks. So take care.